If you think you don't know what a Hoosier cabinet is, you definitely do. They're a staple of farmhouse chic, but these throwback cabinets with a step back top and tons of accessories and storage were actually invented in Indiana at the end of the 19th century. And looking back, it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that the Hoosier cabinet revolutionized kitchens in America and saved the American housewife. Before the 1890s, American kitchens were sparsely furnished. There was a stove, a sink, a workstation, maybe you had a cupboard. Food was mainly stored elsewhere in, like, a pantry or cellar. Not great. Women were forced to walk thousands of steps a day just for food prep and cleanup. And lots of times they weren't even used to being in the kitchen in the first place. Thanks to the Industrial Revolution, kitchen help was hard to find. Women who'd never learned to fry an egg were all of a sudden responsible for putting supper on the table. The private suffering and bad food wasn't even the biggest problem. It was inefficient. The world was obsessed with profits and yields, and even the domestic sphere wasn't safe from the critiques of political economy. Social activists like the Beatrice sisters found that because women are not trained for their duties as men are trained for their trades and professions, family labor is poorly done, poorly paid, and regarded as menial and disgraceful. As a remedy, the first home economics classes were offered in the U.S. in the early 20th century, and manufacturers also stepped up to the plate. Cabinet making was flourishing. The introduction of powered production meant that goods could be made faster and sold further. And what was rolling out of the factories was inspired by modern needs and modern ideas, which, importantly, included functionalism, an ethos and aesthetic that would eventually evolve into more modern schools like Bauhaus. But in the late 1800s, it resulted in the Hoosier cabinet. In 1898, G.I. Sellers made the first accessory-packed kitchen gadget designed to be all-in-one ingredient storage and workstation. Where? In the Hoosier state. Pretty soon, there were dozens of cabinet makers and woodworking companies making more and more elaborate versions of this not-so-simple simplifying kitchen cupboard. You want grain dispensers, meat grinder, flour bin and sifter? Hoosier cabinets promised to literally save steps by putting everything a housewife needed in one place. At its peak, the Hoosier Manufacturing Company alone was producing 700 cabinets a day, and by the early 1920s, they'd sold 2 million. The boom couldn't last forever. Manufacturers struggled during the Great Depression and World War II, and tastes inevitably changed. But the Hoosier cabinet craze left a profound mark on kitchen culture, making it more efficient and, at least notionally, improving women's lives, even if those lives were limited to a small geographic footprint. And because they were the first device to affirm that homemaking was hard work, they basically created the market for future labor-saving inventions. So next time you use one of these, give thanks to the humble Hoosier.